The second old corner of the day that I've chosen to showcase to you today is Stella. A bit of Stella Atois coming through here. As you can see, we'd have a very, very, very strong trend line coming through from March 2020. You can see the support that we're getting along this bad boy. Very, very strong indeed. Granted, yes, we have just lost it, right? So let's zoom into that because we have just lost it. And this is an, an indication that we're going to see downwards momentum, right? And we have seen that from December the 4th coming through there. And we are seeing um, a bit of a downtrend um, still being quite strong, right? So what does that tell us? That tells us that there is a level of support coming through here from the previous crashes, right? Previous crashes back in May, obviously we know the May crash. Um, you can, And this basically says that we've got a lovely bounce point coming through again, and that's going to be around 22 cents there. And there's still plenty of room for um for downside um, progression here and that's around uh, going to be around 11 percent. if we are going to see prices lower than this then there is going to probably signifying some some secondary breakout scenario here and that's going to be um some sort of measure we've probably going on the top side of the um the most recent downtrend right we're probably going to be doing something along the lines of this right it's going to be fairly fairly progressive depending on where we're going to break here this is going to be um, a, a place to basically be shorting Stella there and you can see the gains coming through around 43 percent there really quite insane right really really quite insane obviously probably not going directly for the 43 percent there because we know there's going to be multiple reversal points coming through there in terms of take profits we need to be looking at fairly everything right and, and because we are on the daily here we need to be um spreading these out really really quite um we need, to, we need to be spreading these bad boys out, right? Because <laughs> otherwise, we're probably going to get um, probably going to get wrecked um through reversal prices and stuff like that. So yeah, there's um there's quite a few take profits I would be in, inclined to be banging in here. Um, and as you can see, we are staggering as many in as possible because never it's never be afraid to have that many like too many take profits because at the end of the day, if it is a reversal point, you could get reversed on. If you're going to get reversed on, then obviously. You're going to be losing money. You're going to be giving those profits back. So yeah, we're not about those profit. We're not about the giving the profit max, giving the profit back. We're about banking it 24/7, right? Two, three, six, five. He said two, six, five. But yeah, this is going to be the move to the downside. I will be looking for in terms of a short position here for Stella. Moving on to the short term time frame. What are we seeing here? We're seeing obviously the December the fourth crash come through here. I would be inclined to say this is um this is acting as a very strong horizontal point that we've got coming through here, guys. See multiple, multiple times we have bounced along this zone. You can see we are on the edge of losing this right now. If we lose this right now, this is going to be basically confirmation for this uh, descending triangle chart pattern that we've got coming through here. And that's um, that is a bearish chart pattern, a bearish continuation chart pattern at the bottom of a downtrend, right? So yeah, really, really um, a descending triangle coming through there. So yeah, in terms of um, a target price for Stella right now, if you are looking to short Stella, this is something to be looking out for. Um, in terms of a measure move there, and it's going to be bringing you down to around $23.56 there. In terms of a percentage here, you could be looking at around, it's going to be around a 8.72% mm, gain there. In terms of, um, in terms, in terms, in terms of an entry point, here's fine, to be honest. You've got a candle body closed below the zone here on the four hour. It's absolutely fine. Um, I might be looking on the hourly and seeing... Um, yeah, you still, to be fair, you just had it on the hourly. This is your hourly candle close. So yeah, I would expect, yeah, a test of the upside and then potentially ent entry coming through there um, fairly shortly for Stella. I mean, we got volume weighted at around 2482. You can see how well that's actually going to line up as the price comes down here for this bounce point here. So first take profit point is going to be 2470 there. 2470 is the point in terms of... um percentage from live price to now is around a 3.25 percent gain there guys so yeah not too bad still a gain at the end of the day still profit to be made and then from there if you are looking to ride that wave all the way down there's gonna be multiple multiple take profit points all the way there just gotta look back in history and find those um find those key resistance points or key support points that we are looking for here so um that's definitely gonna be one as you can see there we've got all this some consolidation in that sort of ranging point there and that's gonna be at the end of the the end of the measure move actually so yeah i would um i would like to take more profit along the way because that's still quite ambitious to be going bang for three percent and then bang for five percent right so yeah it's um quite ambitious to be doing that but um at this point in time i i'm not going to be going into like uh insane insane take profit targets there but yeah overall it does look fairly bearish here for stella um let's jump down again to the shorter term time frames to the hourly and see if we can get some sort of gauge i mean we do have another volume weight to atr band coming through here as well which could be acting as a bounce point as well so that's another thing to be taking taken into consideration there um, for a level of support as you can see it does 
tend to usually um tend tend to usually play out. If it's not playing out, guys, we are trending below it. That's um the t tends to, tends to what's happened, right? So um so yeah, just um take that into consideration because that is getting ever so close to your entry. Maybe you want another take profit point there just in case we bounce there. Um, but yeah, overall. Um, once you get your first take profit, guys, stop loss to entry. You know the score, minimizing your losses. Um, but yeah, overall, not too bad. I would say bearish potential short position coming through for Stella there. That's going to be your daily update.